Well, that's just somebody being cranky. Being really, really cranky about what it was, what it was, and what it would be. What they can do. Hi, folks. Hi, folks. How y'all doing this fine January day? January 20th, 2020. <laughs> okay, okay, so it's 21. God. Matt, when you remember good things, you want to go back to the good things. So, yeah, you could argue wasn't much good. And it wasn't much good last year. Man, this day last year is something else. Maybe not for you guys, but it was for me, so. What am I talking about? Not a damn thing. There really wasn't anything going on. How y'all doing? Anyway, hey, what's up? We're here. Sorry it's a little bit late. Um, I got off a little bit late, and I was being a wiener, so I wanted to get some food in my belly. Uh, wanted to, wanted to make some, I felt the need for some Hispanic foods, so I made some Hispanic foods. Why is this gonna suck? Um, I figured why not? You know what I'm saying? Hey, Robert, how you doing? Like I said, apologies for starting a little bit later. I, uh, like I said, I just had to take care of some things. I figured a 9 o'clock start, or at least as close to a 9 o'clock start as I could. This isn't as good as I'd like it to have been, but, oh well. Dude, day 112 of the one of days. Um, is it exciting? No, not really when you think about it, but I mean, like, you could be... At one hell of a spot right about now, if you've been keeping up. Um, the numbers are starting to look pretty, you know, I mean, pretty good. 112 planes is like, that's, you know, that, that's more than you can shake a stick at. What the hell does that mean, anyway? Like, how old do you got to be to really understand exactly where shake a stick at meant something? Does, does it mean anything? Like, for real? I don't know. Um, so, shake a stick at, yeah, that's a pretty good, pretty good amount of planes, you're gonna get pissed off if the enemy starts flying 112 birds at you, so, it's like, yeah, it's like you're really making some strides if you're keeping up with us here. I am making my 112th bird, right about now, um, very, very disappointed in how this is gonna turn out, because I know how it's gonna turn out, it's gonna turn out, like, um, the KIA birds that have a <laughs> you notice that? I had, dude, it's no joke. I was watching that. I was watching that yesterday, and I, like, got an idea, you know? Um, got an idea, that, but uh, this isn't going to be, oh, no, no, I don't want to, no, I don't want to put anhedrals or winglets on this thing. I'm really getting tired of winglets and anhedrals. I like my planes to try to work out. I see so many of them out there that, like, you know, you, you, you build, and they don't, you know, like, they don't come out the way you want them to. So, like, you try something else or whatever, and, and, and like, or, or you don't, you want them to be what you see. And other people have, like, their winglets, and other people don't, and they fly them. And it's like, how the hell does that work so, so well? Damn it. And then you fly it, it's a chunk of crap. So, I was really trying to not do the winglets again. I, I actually don't know how I wanted to shape this thing. Wanted to have a little bit of slant here, and all the weight is not in front of the fold. I'm I, I'm kind of being goofy with this because, like, okay, it kind of. I imagine if you see it, it looks the way like you probably it's probably made the way you think it was with the folds and everything. Uh, but I'm I'm I left the folds in because I'm trying something, and these are usually my famous last words. <laughs> Boy, you know, I really gotta try to, like, like, you gotta take me in baby steps, man, seriously. I know, I know you're trying to sell it, I see what you're doing there, okay, I, I get it, I, like, remember, I've still got planes I gotta put hitches on, and you've obviously seen I haven't tapered anything yet, do you want me to go straight to the rockets? Okay, okay, so I kinda built it, yes, you're right, I built it, I haven't had a chance to fly it yet, I didn't fly it indoors. All right, so, um, uh, I take that back. Okay, <laughs> let me let me let me back it down a second here. Okay, I built it, did fly, flew it four times indoors. It's pretty good in here. I took it out. Uh, I tried to take it outside. I launched it once. 
Do you want to see the remains? <laughs> it made it into a slush pile. It didn't get into the snow like I had planned it. We just got another batch of snow yesterday. Like we weren't supposed to get snow. Uh, and it snowed and it just kept snowing for like five hours. Now, don't get me wrong. It wasn't like a blizzard. It wasn't like bad. We actually really only got like about an inch to two inches. Really, really only about an inch. But since we weren't supposed to even get snow. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, okay, the point is, though, is the, the ground was covered, right? So I figured if I took it out, I took the Diamonds out and flew them, too. Um, they seem okay. Because I did the same thing that I always do with them. But I took them out, like, I took them out three days ago. Um, they seem none the worse for wear. They've maintained their shapes and everything. Uh... Because I took the can of air out and I blew the snow off immediately. Which is what I did with the... Well, I kind of did with the rocket. The rocket didn't land in snow. It landed by the street in a slush puddle. It was in water. And it was too far away. I ran to it, but... Uh, I need to taper that shit. <laughs> I mean, like, dude, it's... Oh, my God. There's colors on it now that weren't there when I started. I used um, I used a black sheet, too. Oh, no, wait, no. I used a gray sheet. I used one of those dark gray sheets. So it looked kind of cool. And now it looks, actually it looks a little bit more cool, but it's like, it is completely wrinkled on one side, mostly. It's, just, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to make another one of those and actually, you know, like, not destroy it. Yeah, it, it, oh man, I felt bad. Well, I mean, I feel bad whenever I lose them, but like that, as I figured I would take it outside, like, okay, so what? I'm getting this damn thing flown. It's kind of the same thing when I took Warhawk out so many, a while back for UOE. I took uh, Warhawk out um, in snowy weather. I think I wrote in the calendar. I didn't probably post it up, so you may not actually be aware of this. I didn't video it. Um, contrary to popular belief, I don't video every flight. Um, I document every flight, but I don't video every flight. Uh, yeah, get on me if you wish, but I don't have to, you don't have to video everything. I swear to God, sometimes video production time kind of takes the fun out of it. Um, especially because you're never going to get the, the flights you're looking for. Anyway, um, I took Warhawk out in the snow, and it it, it, it did pretty good. It Son of a bitch. There you go. Staple's not working today. Um, it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. Uh, Warhawk turned out okay. Um, it's still usable. So, it wasn't, like, all bad. God, I did this wrong. <sighs> Jesus. Oh, what am I doing? Oh. <laughs> oh, this is going to suck balls. All right, here we go. <laughs> yep, going to staple the wings together. Yep. Bet you didn't see that one coming. Somewhere out there in the midst of the Florida lockdown, somebody is cringing. I'm like, oh my god, he's stapling it. Oh my god, that's the third staple. And you know what? I'm not even done. Because this plane's too heavy. I should probably stick a paper clip in here. You know what the cool thing about staples is once you've got that form, you can bring that form back so easily. You know what I'm saying. Alright, so. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Put another one on the other side. Boom! Four staples! In the lead, mass hysteria. Okay, so should have put it in the back because the tape's not holding down for shit. All right, so yeah, you got that. I yeah, that ain't gonna work. <coughs> Center of gravity is still too far back. I'm sitting here holding it at the foldy point here, and like it's about in the mid range, but it 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 sucks. It's not goodly like it should be. It, it could be it could be better well, it's not too bad but you know what do you mean what did you what did you do what did you do you added a new one really how so oh god Okay, okay, there, yeah, alright. Well, that's about as good as I'm going to get that. See, see, now I'm talking again because I'm trying to build this thing. Okay, so I built this thing, and here it is, here it goes. Um, what do I expect to get out of this? 
Well, it's crap. What I expect to get is the Florida lockdown to discontinue. So, um, you know, reasons. <sighs> Week nine of that bullshit. Can you believe it, folks? You guys are in this for the ride. Can you believe I've had to solo this long? I mean, I'm not, don't get me wrong, I'm kind of not complaining to a degree. I mean, as much as anybody, because the show must go on. But it's like, uh, it'd been much nicer if he was here. But, you know, whatever, for a lockdown. I don't see how this is ever going to get any better, any worse. Oh, I know, I know, I know. And but it was a while ago, so that's what I was saying. You know, I mean, I still have my Warhawk. So, I still have everything of y'all's that I ever built. Because I'll never get rid of it. This goes in line kind of with what I was talking about before. You know, like, I mean, if you guys ever send me one of your birds, I'm keeping them. I'm keeping them. And how do you pronounce that? Is it the way it looks? Because, like, not the pterodactyl. The, the dactyl? Because that's dactyle. Which kind of sounds like something you should put in your kitchen. Or at least on the bathroom floor. Don't be... Hey, man. Don't get no vomit on my dactyle. It's hard to clean up. What the hell am I talking about? Just forget I said that. Okay, so... This is for you, Nasses. I just put six staples in this plane. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm trying to accomplish here. I might actually have the weight proper now. Let's retest this here. So... Nope, center of gravity is still too far back. Jesus, fuck. Should I throw this? No, probably shouldn't throw this. Away? I should have let Kay built this thing. He's the king of building a plane where there's too much weight in the back and the front. So that it just kind of like somersaults. You know what I'm talking about. Hey, don't deny it. Don't deny it. I got one right here, buddy. <laughs> I got one right here. And if you're watching, you know what I'm talking about. See? See, look at this. Look at this mess. <laughs> Good looking plane. I ain't going to deny it. It looks like, I mean, it kind of looks like a box with wings. But it, it looks cool. It really does. And yet, this little spot, can you see this? You see, wait. See that? There you go. See that little triangle right there? It's because there's a fold here, but there's a fold here. And you see this right here? This is tape. There's also a long string of tape here. What do you think this plane does? <laughs> this plane's center of gravity is actually about as far back as this one is, so we've got a problem. But, oh man, that means we've got a real problem. He's got one piece of tape. Well, actually, looks like two pieces of tape here. But, piece of tape here, 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 there's one here, there's one, there's one here, and there's one here. Now you do the math. What do you think this plane does? <laughs> yep, yep, it flies a good, it flies a solid six inches. Yep. Oh, it rolls, yeah, but it also, like, it... Oh my god, dude, it, it, like I said, it flies a really good six inches. And I use the term fly loosely, because it, like, somersaults six inches really good. I mean, should call this plane the gymnasium, pl gymnastic uh, aerobics plane, or whatever the hell. I don't know. But anyway, Kay, the king of putting weight in places where there probably shouldn't be any weight. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, he builds good planes. This one was just kind of like... You want to get down, Cat? Or because if you knock those down, it's gonna be your ass. Have, it'd be funny having this like cat head bust on the wall with this surprise expression, like, <gasps> "Guess I should have touched that." Yeah, no, you shouldn't have touched that. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, dactyl. See, now you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Cause dactyl. Yeah, when you put T-I-L-E, it don't look like what you're trying to accomplish. And I'm pretty sure that's what you were trying to accomplish. Oh, oh, wait a minute now. Now, now, no excuses. <laughs> I'm just thinking like, oh, hold it, the baby. Okay, so, uh, yeah, the, the, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I just think, like, Pura, okay, yeah, the Y and the T, okay, that was hard. 
However, you don't make the dag tile. <laughs> I and the Y, not so close. And then the E, that's not even to be found. So, again, we're talking about bathroom floor versus flying bird lizard thing from the a day gone by. No, I get it, though, actually. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I, I'm just kind of teasing you because, seriously, if Mark was here, he'd be teasing you about that. Because, you know, oh, yeah, you know what I'm talking about because he hadn't let go of Pancake yet. But um, <laughs> you're, you're, like, never going to live that down even though we never had the chance to run into that plane. Sad, really. I mean, you know, I, dude, I no, I get it. Like, I mean, I get naming is naming. So, and if you're going to make it your own, that's one of the ways you do it. So, I'm all, I'm all for that. You got to make it your own somehow, and that's, that's the way to do it. But, um, he's like, <laughs> uh, he's just jealous. So, anyway, I got this one with six staples in the nose. This didn't really turn out the way I meant it. Dom. So, I was thinking about, like, what I was thinking about was, um, again, like you pointed out, I had that trike. I, I was thinking about it, so I had seen that video, um. All y'all, and I said it before, you know this, all of your videos give me ideas, so I just had these ideas, so this is kind of, I wanted to make this one the first, you guys will see the first, finish up the first, you know, uh, where do I go from here, who knows, who knows, but that goes into Spark, or the park, as we call it, the Paper Aircraft Research Center. All y'all should have one. I could put a fin code on this. But where in the hell am I going to put a fin? See? No fin. No code. I'm not going to be that guy. But I really don't know where the hell I'm going to put a fin on this thing. Mm. Suggestions? Comments? I don't know. I'm fascinated with tail. <laughs> oh, no, I know. I mean, yeah. It, like I said, I... I've always been. You're gonna make it your own. You gotta make it your own somehow. That's the way. That's 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 all it means anything. Cause like, dude, for real, my fucking my phase one. Everybody asks me, how why'd you name it the phase one? I don't know. I don't know. It was young and stupid. I mean, literally, that's basically it. it. Wasn't the start of anything. I did. I had no idea it was gonna. You don't you don't go make it a movie like Star Wars one, at one. You know you don't make it number one because you had no idea what you're gonna do. Even if you do know that you're going to do it, you still don't do it. You know what I mean? Because any movie with the one following it just sounds, except for Loaded Weapon 1, sounds stupid. So, is it really, I mean, but you, know, you know when you think about that, is it really stupid? Is it? Can you, just, it, you consider yourself big-headed if you're going to call a movie number one because you know you're going to make a sequel? Or a book, or whatever it is you sequel, a, a volume one? Because, like, I mean, I don't think it's that bad. And it has been done. It's just, I don't know. Oh, no, I go on there. It's just, yeah. The locking fold would be a good idea. I was, I was thinking about that. But again, this is my, um, I wanted this to be the first one. Um, next example, I'll probably do that. Uh, like I said, just different ideas taking it to different things. Um, I'm also thinking about trimming the weight, obviously, because this thing's going to flip-flop. I go on message, dude. I am not as common on the social media as you think. And it does kind of hurt. But, you know. I mean, because I saw it. Yeah. Uh, you know. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know. Matter of fact, look. Let me let me go check it out right here in the background. So I know what it is you're talking about. Blah. Is foldable... F hey, this is a stupid question, but... Is foldable flight one guy... It just sounds like kind of, you know, like it could be something more than one guy. <laughs> no, what? No, because... Wait, 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 wait. No, I saw that picture on Messenger. Because I remember you said they had to make a new EDM because you lost it to the roof. I saw that. You never got my response to it. Son of a bitch. How did you not get my response? I have a response on here, but it is, it does show like it didn't send somehow. And so like, cuz I asked you if you took a video of it losing it to the roof. And like I wanted to ask like there was a 
on the one picture, the first picture that you sent on it, it had like, you have the protuberances out the back, and I was asking if it had winglets of sort. But then you sent the next picture, and it solved the question. Without the tail elevators. Yeah, see, so I knew, okay. It is one guy. It's just, see, this is one reason why, like, using your name as, like, this is not a dig at you, OE, but seriously. Like, using your name as a company name or something like that is kind of like foldable flight. It kind of makes it sound like, you know, there's a group of people that do this, you know? Or like it's a conglomeration, it's a company, as it were. And you may call it that, but I mean, if you're having a channel, it's a channel. It's like, ours is a channel and ours is a few members, so. I just didn't know. I mean, it's, uh, it's not matter. You do it how you do it. But I did. I honestly didn't know. I kind of thought it was more than one dude. <laughs> yeah. No, I understand. I get you. I get you. It can be a thing. Hey, man. Sometimes it's all it can be. Sometimes it's all it can be done. Is just sit back there and watch. Watch as the flames spread and take over the homestead and kill everything you know and what am I talking about? Hey wait, speaking of that, you you're doing okay out there, right? You're not part of any of this like new batch of fla like the entire state of California is fucking on fire and the other part that's not on fire is like smoldering. Like so you're you're okay, right? Like we don't have to worry about you. I mean, we always have to worry about you. You're in California, so if you know the fires don't get you, the earthquakes will eventually tsunami i mean god really does hate california it's quite obvious and obviously yeah wouldn't you too if you had all the stars the superficial people living there all the damn time i swear to god i'm never gonna go to california i would love to come hang out with you are you but like man i i too scared there's not many things in life that i'm scared of but california is definitely one of them the fake people and the real disasters just like dude no I, I can handle hurricanes. I can see them coming. Like the ground opening up underneath my feet and swallowing me whole. I can't see that coming. And there's no way to get away. Can't do it. I just can't do it. I mean, Florida can have it too, but... <laughs> okay, now I added three more pieces of tape. Let's add more tape. <laughs> 77 mile per hour. God damn. We have that here, too. We got some wind gusts. I mean, not like that. I think we had 45. But it's funny. Um, yesterday, again, I said, like, I had to drive home like it was snowing. Um, and I dro drove I drove my car. Uh, I use the term loosely. Uh, but, like, rear-wheel drive, 4,000 pounds. Um, yeah, it took me an hour and a half to get home yesterday, as opposed to my normal 40 minutes. Um, yeah, because, yeah, the car's not made for the snow. Um, but the other one, the all-wheel drive, was in use by the other half, so I uh, had to go with the rear-wheel drive, and I had to be careful. It's fun. I mean, you know, it's it really is fun when you just, like, you don't really even have to hit the gas, and the ass end of the car wants to be the front end of the car. It has a real identity problem at that point. Literally spent most of the drive doing that. But today, um, no, I was getting at the, the gusts. We had some gusts. It's very windy, so, like, driving home in the headlights is, like, a constant stream of white blowing over the road because all the farmland out by where I was is, like, you know, the snow that landed yesterday, it's just blowing because it's only got up to 22 degree today. 23, something like that. I don't know. It's it, it's cold. Um, And, like, yeah, it just blows. It's, like, a nice, white, soft, and, like, it's been doing it for a while, so the roads are almost as bad day as they were yesterday because the snow was just piling up on the road again without being snowy at least out here um the interstate was fine so whatever like it is what it is i don't care i got home and then like oh yeah you got volcanoes too isn't it don't you got volcanoes i mean well no not really you don't really have volcanoes do you i mean you have them but they've been like do asleep for like a hundred thousand years or some shit <sighs> So you really don't have volcanoes. I mean, you do, but you don't. I think Shasta's supposed to be active, but last time she like, right erupted was like a couple thousand years ago or something like that, right? Said the same thing about Mount St. Helens, though, so... Hey, you got you disaster-filled people, you guys about do up. I mean, what else can go wrong? 
Tsunami. I'm telling you, man, it's coming. It's coming. Y'all got to be ready for everything. Like, I don't know about, like, insurance companies, but seriously, I would not insure anybody on anything living in California. Because, <laughs> like, you just know. It's like, no, by principle, I can't insure you. It's like, you live in a state where everything can happen. Tornadoes. You might be able to miss tornadoes. Maybe. But even then, you got to deal with people that drive over there. And I've seen the way y'all drive. I don't know. So I um, taped this the hell up. Got my seven staple. One, two, three, four. I got six staples. Think I should put a seventh in there, round it on up. Ah, okay. Tape to tape, tape to tape. All right. And I put two more pieces of tape in the back. So I, well, yeah, the center of gravity is moving forward about a centimeter. So, it's getting there. Yeah, it's getting there. And again, my starting out mod. So, I'll eventually be up to that point. Um, yeah. You know, when I build these, I'm starting to build these, and I'm starting to build, like, the other ones. And again, like, I've said it before, but I'm saying again, like, tapering always looks so much cooler. Because taping down all the sections that could cause problems looks really... You know, like, it seems like a cool idea. Oh, you, you tape them in, like, the strategic locations. And, Robert, you just tape them everywhere. So, it's like, there's no, it's like the riveting. You know, there's no loose ends anywhere. and That's all well and good. It just, I guess I'm a little Maverick Incorporated about it. I'm just a little scared to pull the trigger on something that, that much of a change. But then again, I want to be looking cool, too, so... Like that flame retardant tape, boy. Yep. Yep. I kind of like that. But by the same token, I can't do it either because one of the ways I like to destroy aircraft is by flame. I think it's the only real way to destroy planes. It's cool. It serves two purposes. It's total destruction of the aircraft so it won't fall into enemy hands. And, well, it's total destruction of the aircraft should you use it against the enemy. But also, um, it's like... It's cool to be able to, it's it's a good tool. I don't know if any, I'm assuming you guys have done that before, but if you take it out on a, even a slightly windy day, which is actually better than a non-windy day, but you can like put it into the wind and you get to see the aerodynamic effects on your aircraft, which is kind of cool. So yeah, there's that. So anyway, um, yeah, I don't know what I was trying to touch on at that, though. So, uh... <laughs> so, anyway, yeah. Uh, day 112. Got 112 planes, guys. Um, again. Eh, that's that's something to make your mama cry. Uh, but again, she gives you grief. You just be like, you know, he's dying selling coke on the street corner. There's that. Uh, but, you know, and Florida just just going to continue keeping us like here in the here in the midst of crap I don't understand what's going on with Florida <laughs> um by the time we get back I'll, like we have like all new members and all new topics and everything's gonna change and shit so somebody is just gonna have to man up bite the bullet and do what needs to be done. Not like I have any idea what needs to be done, but <laughs> it's just fun to say it. Fun to tease him. Um, so, yeah. Um, any of you guys actually do, like, okay, you tested rifle before? You, you've ever put rifle on there? The little piece of tech that I'm referring to is, like, reinforcing the leading edge. Um, some of you guys have planes that do this naturally. Some of you guys have, like, a simple way of doing it. Um, and I've seen it in some planes, and... Again, it's like everybody's got their versions of it. Uh, it it's a tech you could put on there. It, it's like, you know, um, kind of simple. Um, some planes that I have with it uh, have it naturally. And some planes, well, just about any plane can have it um, if you just give it as an a extra additive. Um, rifle, standing for Reinforced Leading Edge. It's, yeah, it, yeah the, ad the address is correct, I think. I believe so. I have to check it. I'm, I'm, I'm looking right now. Um, I think so. 
Um, the hell? Boobs. Um, I've got to go back this way here. So, like, rifle would be these. And you can see this. Uh, the reinforced leading edge, this fold. Um, this isn't like almost a true set because this is also what we call Dale, the dual angle leading edge. I love calling tech into anything that's in there. So you got this leading edge and this leading edge and the sweep is different. Um, this isn't like, this is partial rifle because the entire thing isn't and of course I would do that. I guess you could say the staples kind of are. And it's really a stretch. Uh... But some of you guys, again, you, like, you do it naturally, and sometimes all it takes is that fold. And you can fold it multiple ways. You can fold it underside, you can fold it overside, you can fold it inside. Or if you want to get really nasty, you could, you know, put the folds in both ways, and then outside fold it, and then cover it back, and then you got it both on both the out, up and down. Um, it's almost like kind of make, making uh, the ailerons, but a little bit different. In any case... It is reinforcing the leading edge. It's 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 not it's not really all fire beneficial. It's cool, but it's not exactly what you'd call beneficial, depending on the plane. So, but like just something to give a try. See, um, especially in planes that you don't normally have it. And well, for all you know, it can make it like a, a, a different weight balance or something. It doesn't take much to simply fold that, but I mean, if you want to do it, the, the most basic form would be to simply, like, reinforce it with tape. I mean, like, strong tape. Take a long run. Go all the way out, you know? So, um, I, again, just something I suggest. Give it a shot. Um, I obviously suggest you do that with, like, every tech, but... Don't shirk away. See if you can find something, because you never know if the one little piece of cool like cool tech you try on there is going to be the one that makes it plain like godlike in your eyes and everybody else's so uh it looks cool but I'm scared of it um probably should have like brought some wing out of it and I could see like my mind's like folding through ideas and saying like that, that could probably I know a way to cheat, cheat and take some oh Jesus I'm going to do it ain't I I was going to cheat and take some weight out of here I'm all about cheating. I'll cheat the hell out of some planes here. So, well, I mean, like, a lot of times, if you're folding, you fold, uh, you fold a fold in, you fold out, you, you get rid of something or whatever. Um, like, oh, he was, had mentioned earlier, if you guys saw it, was talking about how, like, the foldables, like, they tuck it back. Um, and that's, I'm going to do that with the next one. I didn't want to do it with this one because this is my first example. So I just pur purposely left it out because I wanted to see where it could go. I mean, is this really as far as the design can go before you actually do modified stuff like that? So, in any case, um, cutting is kind of cheating. Kind of. But again, I'm all about tweaking, so you just, like, tweak the shit out of stuff. Just to get, just to get you know, as much out of it as you possibly can. <laughs> and and that, th that's key. That's key. What the deuce? So I also saw... I also saw... Like there's... Well, I mean, there's ways you can probably... There's ways you can probably make this like... Less weight and a bit. Like, mm. See now I'm thinking about cheating some more. So, in any case, let me let me stop getting sidetracked. Okay, okay, okay. Anyway, um, okay, 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 okay. So we like I said, one of the days the tech I think you should try is definitely rifle. Give it a shot. Just put it on something you normally wouldn't put it on. Um, it'll be a pleasant surprise. I'm gonna try to like turn that into like a feature from now on just like we might concentrate on one and I may try to feature it on the show I mean this is a loose translation I don't have a wyvern handy and I don't really want to build one okay wait I take that back I do have a wyvern handy but I'm not going to go get it because again a rifle is kind of self-explanatory but really again you're just reinforcing the leading edge that's what rifle stands for um, loose translation uh, of the acronym 
You get the idea, though. Give it a shot. And then, let's, let, let's, let's, let's feature into, let's somewhat segue that into what we were talking about. And I wanted to, wanted to get with OAE on this, especially because, because of his mups. And we had discussed this before, but um, we to touch on this. We were going to say about the airlifters here. Um, so the airlifters, the transports, the cargo planes that we have. Um, now that we've gotten, we've talked to so many other members and we've, and we've gotten so many ideas. We know that there's so many different ways beyond our basic thinking as to what transports are and what they can do. Um, I uh, consider it, uh, what do you call it, an extension of the bombers? So it's kind of like Bombers Part 2. Uh, as far as flights go, they do the same thing. You know, I mean, seriously, they're, they're going to do about the same thing. And you can't, I mean, even if you've got a plane that has mops, okay, you put the, par the pod on them, yeah, your cargo that you're carrying is going to be a little bit more secure because the pod does contain them. But there's still, like, I mean, what if you leave something open-ended? What if you leave something just wildly open? And also, it has to do with, again, what I mentioned before about, you know, testing your creativeness about trying to get other planes that fly. Um, like, these, these are specifically designed to make you make the one that can fly the straightest and flattest. You know, it maintains a, a regular, pretty straight glide, gentle glide, not too much rocking. Um, distance can be anything, but again, you'd like to think it could at least, say, cross whatever airspace you have. I like to think of it as... Basically, again, what the bombers do, but you want to get, if you had a friend, you know, like, you're, you start any combat and you've got a friend out there with you, he's at the forward line or he's at the back end, um, and he needs to get you some supplies so you can complete a plane. So I'm umming a lot for some reason tonight, even though I'm just noticing it, excuse me. Anyway, <laughs> so they're standing at the front door of your house, of your headquarters, and whoever's at the front end of your yard, where the combat's going on, you send the transport, hey, I need some staples to finish this. You put the staples, in OAE's case, in a pod. You put the staples in the fuselage, if you build one like that, on top of the plane, whatever. Um, you could tape it down. Damn it. <laughs> you could tape it down. Uh, <laughs> that's not any better. And, and then, like, fly it straight to them. And you know it's going to make it there. So, it's the same thing as the bombers. I think, because again, I consider this exact same, if, if it's a weapon load, you're still carrying it on top or under the wing, you don't want it to go anywhere. This is the same thing with the transports. And again, if you have pods, if you have the hybrid ideas that we were talking about, where it's an amalgamation of two aircraft, or as me and KIA were discussing, it's like more of the flying wing. You guys will like this because typically you could really use a flying wing. And then have a slight body. In my case, I was thinking like a twin fuselage. But it's not a fuselage you can grab a hold of per se. Because it really is kind of a true flying wing. With just two, I'd like to call them strakes. Because they're not even as thick as this. They're more like, you remember the plane I built last week that you guys saw. This one right here. You're lucky I had this one in hand. But the, uh, the twin fuselage, the twin keel that I was referring to. Which is, it would be on something like this. And... Truth be told, the zero weight fuselage that this one represents was kind of a result of that thinking and vice versa. It was all interchangeable. The twin keel fuselage, the zero weight fuselage, and then the hybrid transporters all came to be done the same thought process. We were like, the strake that would be the fuselage would only be this deep, about like here, all the way down the length of the plane. Just enough to have some place to hold like a paper box or a pod down the length of the plane, and that would be the cargo bay. See, without the cargo bay, it would just be a flying wing. So it'd still be stable without the box, without the pod. That's what the strake is for. That's what the zero weight fuselage is for. But it can carry the box, and it can carry it with zero weight penalty, or at least as little weight penalty as possible, because, again, no weight here, most of the weight here, 
And if you build it a la taper, a la Y13, if you like, you know, fiberboard it or cardboard the wings, they're a lot more sturdy. And then whatever box is underneath it just be attached, say, like small paper clip. Um, that's, I think, something like that. I, I seriously think that's like the, the wave of the future as far as if you really do plan on transporting. What better way is there than setting it up so that it holds whatever you can, you know, whatever you can throw at it. It's not a pod you make a la OAE. It's more like a pod you're borrowing. Um, I had pictured tape saying a toothpaste box. If you get a toothpaste in a tube that comes in a box, if you've seen those boxes, they're relatively light. It's like a card cardstock fiberboard. Yes, you can make it, but why bother if you had one pre-manufactured? Plus, they're used to repeated folding because they have a laminate. You can still cut them to shape, and you could obviously have a little bit more of an aerodynamic fairing to make it a little bit more streaky through the uh, air, but but the idea is sound. Cigarette boxes could work. Any kind of box you can think of that makes something like that. Um, oh, the other good one, and I brought one. Of the, it's not here. It's in the other room. A staple box. If you get a bunch of staples, that's a really small, really thin, very light cardboard box. I mean, those would be ideal, too. You know they can carry staples. Now, you wouldn't want to fill them and carry it on the bird. I'm pretty sure that would just be a flat-out die, but you get the idea. You're thinking about a light paper box, a la the MUPS that OAE built. I was just trying to make them, when my, my line of th to my line of thinking, they'd be stronger. So, it, it took me a while to come up with the box idea. I know we've actually dabbled with this in the past. I have built paper boxes. We've put paper boxes on planes. We have held paper planes in bo paper boxes. And some of the cardboard boxes just got really atrocious. <laughs> really, really atrocious. There's, there's no sense and sensibility to the sizes we made of those. But what the hell did I do? Man, I didn't realize it at the time, but I was trying to figure out, like, I can't pull this thing apart too easily, right? You, you see this? Okay, I can. But, like, there's, the only tape stops right here. This is where the tape is. It's the only tape holding the entire body together, and, like, it's really hard to pull this thing together. I mean, no, I mean, I could pull it apart, obviously, easily, but I'm just thinking, like, okay, without warping it or ripping it. It takes a lot of effort to do it, and then it warps the nose because... That tape is holding it together, and obviously very well. So anyway, um, yeah, so, like, I think hybrid airlifters, and what Robert was talking about, like, the old bodies that I like to explore where the cylindrical bodies, bodies are in there, I think that is probably the key. I think that's the... I think those are the best ones to try for. You, you expect a lot, of a lot of it to be... a lot of carriage to be carried. <laughs> I didn't want to say that, but, you know, you can fit stuff in there. The box is pretty sturdy. Um, it's sturdier than paper, for sure. So, hey, why not, right? And just, those are the better ideas, I think. I think that'd be something. Plus, again, the box is also open to adding stuff to the outside of it, possibly putting stuff to the inside of it. Uh, you guys that actually build the blended bodies... Or the, you know, the lifting bodies probably dabble in it already. So, yeah, that's that, that's kind of where I'm at and trying to think about exactly how these can work. <laughs> Will they work? I know. We're going to give it a shot. Uh, I'm going to build another one of these tomorrow, though. And see if I can get this thing back to some semblance of normal, because I don't like the way this is. Heh. <laughs> It's funny, just thinking about, like, putting a pod or a mup on anything, which, obviously, oi, you do that a lot, you know, most of your planes are mupable. Have you made that a word yet? Yeah, I'd like to try that out. Um, most of your designs come out that way, I understand. And thinking back on it, it's like, okay, I couldn't do that with a bunch of mine, but if any plane, like, in theory... Supposedly, all planes can become airlifters or bombers. And again, if you're willing to sacrifice, any plane can become a bomber. But I don't know, you know, like the, the pods. I don't want every plane to be a transport. I don't want the phases to, like. 
And let's face it also, I couldn't do it with a phase and expect to get the same flight. There, I'd have to recommend building this one. This one's kind of crazy. But, you know. I'm just finding ways to add tape to the front end to see if I can bring this puppy back. Sucks, but, you know, what can you do? Yeah, I'm going to add more tape. All of this is an effort to bring weight back, and the, the stupid way is, like, I'm, I mean, I'm doing this, and I really shouldn't, like, I really shouldn't do it this way. I should just have went ahead and done the paper clip, or tapered it, or, you know, any one of any thousand things. Uh, tuck fold up, up here, or so on and so forth, but I'm not, I'm just, I'm leaving it this way as, so... <laughs> if I lock, if I make that locking fold, I, I don't know. Again, first test. Yeah, I, I'd rather, I'd rather do it this way because I'd rather actually have like a, a starting point, and then know where I'm going to improve. So, like I said, I mean, you see what I'm doing. I'm adding all kinds of things to it, as far as taping goes. So, I'm not going to do this the next time around. I'll probably just do the lock fold, or or I'll cut out stuff in the manufacturing process. That's how you learn, man. That's how you learn. You gotta gotta start somewhere and take it down. And like, I haven't done like okay, it moved another millimeter forward. <laughs> My God! If you built them. You pictured them having, like, you just said, matchbox cars, or tanks, or something on board. Did you ever do that? And, like, it's all well and good, but when you grow up, you realize, well, it's not like there's little men in those tanks, so I'm not going to throw out paratroopers out the back of my paper airplane, send them on down, and kill troops. You know? <laughs> It is a carriage, like, okay, the carriage of such a thing, though, is a pretty good test, so. I don't know. It, it, I'd like to see that. I'd like to see that. And, and maybe, maybe something will come of it, you know? Maybe. I don't know. I, I'm trying to see if there's anything that come of this damn thing. I do know it's got a little bit of a parasol wing, but I don't think there's anything that come of this. What I'd really, really like to do is give it, like, fins, because every time I look at it in the front, I'm like, wow, it'd be really cool if it had some fins, but if I add any more weight to the back, this thing's going to suck to the extreme, so I'm not going to do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. like that look, though. I like this, um, I like this Dale, I like this, uh, like these folds. I already had the ideas. I mean, again, all these things that we talked about and all these things that I've done and I've looked at this plane and I've, I, I, has I built it? And before I even built it, I like, I knew where I wanted to progress this. So I know that this, this isn't as far as it's going to be. There's going to be more to this one. This was the first example. I know what I'm going to do with the second and third one. So is it my design? No. Yes and no. Yeah, I'll tell you one thing, it is with six staples and umpteen million pieces of tape on it, because nobody ever be this foolhardy to build something like this. I know, I need to do a video too, soon to myself, though. I ain't gonna involve no matchbox cars, I think, but uh, I'll probably try to do something. I gotta get... Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do another snowy video here of these planes flying outside, because... It, it looked pretty good, like, okay, I flew the red and the black diamonds outside... The black one was really, really hot. The thing performed outstanding out there. The red one, the one I showed you earlier, yeah, the strikes mm, didn't work. It just didn't work. It doesn't like the strikes. So I'm going to have to, like, not use those strikes. I'm pretty sure it's the strikes that prevented it from being as cool as it would be because the rest of the plane is probably pretty cool. Diamonds don't usually come out badly. I mean, it did corkscrew. So it had to be something of a, you know, whatever's in a rudder-type position. Strikes are the only thing I can think of, because even the tail, 
hell, if anything, the vertical fin on the black Diamant was more crooked than the red one. And the black one did outstanding for a Diamant. So, yeah. Yeah, there's that. I just got to take some of this weight out and somehow figure out a way to put it back up in here. I'll do that. But anyway, anyway, um, I was cutting this one short because I, I, I started later, but I need to finish up earlier because certain things have to be done around this house. I got a lot of snow. I came home and there was like a lake in my garage because I failed to take into account that even though it got down to six degrees last night, the cars still melted all their snow off because I failed to take off the snow they accumulated. So, Lake Mary was in my garage and I had to breeze that off so I could, for, for I could park the car tonight. That was kind of horrible. And leads me to believe I really got to get that drainage system and, and surfacing in my garage for once next season hits. So, again, major construction. Um, That's not what I'm going to do, but... I have plans, people. I have plans. You should have plans. Everybody should have plans. I mean, did you see what today was? It's January 20th. It is the time for plans. I know you know what I'm talking about. So, <laughs> I'm just not going to say it. We here have the opinion that we don't have an opinion. And we like it that way. So, anyway, I'm going to wrap this up because we did what we wanted to do. Kept it a nice show. I'm trying to keep it at a reasonable show. I talked what I wanted to talk about. I had a good amount of visitors. It was a nice discussion. I thank you for showing up. Um, try to make it, like I said, try to make this kind of like a little bit more feature-filled and try to get it to the point and so on and so forth. So, if you got questions or comments about how it goes, um, uh, these times we do builds... I'm going to try to make sure also that for you guys' sake, especially you two, O.E., Robert, try to make sure that I get a little bit more of your builds on the show. So I think, like, next time, um, well, after after I get done featuring the ones that I've planned on the feature, we'll probably make sure we try to do this so I get, like, something built. Or at least using your tech, you know, like tapering it the hell up or something like that. Just because, since you guys can't be here, you're here, like, talking but you're not here on this camera view. And I'd like you to be here in more of that spirit. So we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do about that. I know, I mean, in, in a way, I've kind of done OAE Tech by doing the little tapes here, but not like 22 of them on one plane. <laughs> I will fly this. Fuck it, I'll fly it right now. <laughs> oh, my God, that was, yeah, that was crap. Yeah, that was complete crap. As expected, because again, its weight balance is ridiculously off. So, but anyway, um, again, thank you guys for showing up. Let me cut this off, because we all have things to do. I started late. I'm going to finish late. Um, appreciate you all coming out. We'll do this again next week. Be on the lookout on Friday on my, my personal channel. I think there's going to be a how to build on there. I would feature it here, but... I mean, I could feature it here. Wouldn't be the first time. But we need to feature different planes on this, so I'll save the DPSIL. We'll have the builds there. In the meantime, y'all have a good night. Y'all, um, thanks for showing up. We appreciate you. It'll be next week. And um, up until that time, 